a I'm a swallow girl. Like I really, really miss eating a bar and a goosey soup. Like, guys, please, please, please. I've not gotten married. <laughs> Let me catch my breath first. It's your girl Bukila, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Let me catch my breath first. <sighs> I'm back, 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 back. You guys know already know the gist, right? I already gave you guys the tea. So right now I am in Oman. I'm going to be living in Oman now for a while. So we're going to be doing Omani stuff now. Okay? So I'm making this video to like share with you guys the things like the things that have shocked me since i came here first of all let me start by saying this place is so natural you just walk out and you see goats everywhere you know for someone who's coming from dubai city of dubai this place is different very very different so it's quite shocking but i really love it because you know i used to go to the village back in nigeria like when i was very young we used to go for you know celebrations with my uncle in Ajegunle or in Abelkuta and we used to see like goats and you know all this all this experience were experiences that I had back then when I was a teenager when we used to go to the village. So it like brings back memories. And the second thing that really shocked me when I came here was the ride. Guys, like did you see? We drove, literally drove through the mountain. Like that thing was scary. And it's not even scary during the day. Oh. It's scary at night. Like when I showed my parents that video, they were like, and you were not scared. I was like, <laughs> even if I was scared, what would I have done? Like jump out of the window or what? Like that thing was a little bit scary the first time. But you know, after taking subsequent rides, it was fine. You know, it was like, it was like just wiggle, woggling around the mountain. And the drivers were already so used to it. They're driving fast. And I'm like, ah, guys, please, please, please. I've not gotten married. <laughs> Speaking of driving, something else that shocked me is the fact that the Omanis are actually very hardworking. Like, the Omanis are actually working, working. Like you find them doing all kinds of jobs. You find them in stewarding. You find them in the kitchen as chefs. You find them as drivers. You find them as directors. You find them as managers. You find them, you know, like you you find them everywhere. Like they are working. They are they are so hardworking. It's quite amazing to see that. You know they're very hard workers over here and another thing is speaking of omanis is that they're very nice like these people are so nice like it's even should i say it's scary <laughs> like the, the omanis are so nice like the locals here are nice 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 they're giving you like friendly vibes you're able to talk to them freely you're not scared you know they're they're like so welcoming you know they're not looking at you like ah where are you where are you from why are you in our country you know they're not giving you that kind of vibe they're like so natural so welcoming they're like re open to share everything with you you know and that's something that's very amazing like i love it love it so much there's something else that um is very shocking to me there are less Nigerians here, like compared to the UAE. There are like lots of Nigerians in the UAE. You don't even, let's not even go there. But here, there are like less Nigerians here. And I wonder why that is, but I'm still trying to do my research on why there are less Nigerians in this place. But yeah, there are less Nigerians. And they're actually Africans, but there are less Nigerians specifically. Yeah, that is that. Yeah, something else that came out is, as a shock to me in this place is the fact that it's very humid here. Like, I mean, it's not really a shock because we are surrounded by mountains, so it's understandable that it's very humid. Like it's hot, 
but it's not as hot as Dubai, but it's very, very, very humid. So I'm like stuck with my AC. I can't even turn my AC off because whenever I turn this AC off, like there's water everywhere on the floor, guys. You cannot believe it. Like if I turn the AC off, my my floor is is sweating. That's how humid it is. So it's very, very humid over here. And I think that means that when winter comes, <laughs> not really winter, sure, but during the cold season it's going to be very 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 cold because we are so again we're surrounded by mountains finally something that i really like about this place is the fact that i'm able to connect with myself this is giving me more of my kind of vibe like i'm a very introverted person who only likes to hang out with our closest friends so yeah, it's kind of giving me that peace of mind, you know, and that calm. All the natural things that I'm experiencing here is just giving me good energy, to be honest. And you guys can even tell by the fact that I'm back on YouTube. Like, it's this place that gave me motivation to come back to YouTube because now I'm like, I'm in yoga mode. I'm in <laughs> meditation mode right now. Like, it's... Is it's so relaxing, it's so chilled. I'm not gonna lie, it's chilled and I love, love, love it. As I've said, all the things that I love about this place and all the things that are shocking to me about this place, in order to balance the question, I need to say the things that I actually miss about Dubai. And first of all, one thing that I miss about Dubai is church. Oh my god, if you know me, you know that I'm a typical church girl and there's literally no church around me, so I can't even go to church. I can't go to church there's no way i can go to church in this place like <sighs> maybe god is going to do miracle for me sometime soon and i'll be able to go to church but right now like church is out of it for me like i mean physical gathering and i'm just you know stuck with going to church online and i really really miss that you know that's something that i miss about being in dubai because in dubai i'm able to go to church every sunday like i was i was i've been going to church consistently every sunday since the beginning of this year and now everything is just different everything has changed i'm attending online church and you know i just have to train myself to be focused you know because there's something about online church that's when you want to drink tea and eat rice and stew you know that's when you remember that you want to do your laundry while you're listening to the sermon like it's just the distraction is just ugh. but i'm praying to god to help me to be able to Stay focused, you know. But something else that I miss, of course, is my friends. I miss my friends in Dubai. Like I miss, I have, I've made like really good friends in Dubai. Like they become my family, really. Like I miss my boss. I miss my former boss. You know, I miss my church family. I miss Sister Dami. I miss her children. I miss, you know, I miss everyone. Like really, it's just. <sighs> but anyway. This is life, right? This is what adulting is. You have to do what you gotta do. Yeah, something else that I miss about Dubai is my apartment. Guys, like that my Dubai apartment was sweet. Because I was living on the on the 18th floor. And, you know, I, I could see like every morning when I wake up, I would see the Sheikhzaid road view. And it was giving me big girl, rich girl vibes, you know. Like, I love this so much. And yeah, that's something that I miss. Waking up to that Sheikhzaid road view <laughs> yeah i miss that a lot i know you probably don't know what i'm talking about but yeah i miss that something else that i also miss is being able to order stuff online like guys dubai you can literally sit in your house at 2 a.m and press your phone and order for chicken <laughs> or you can order for burgers at 2 a.m you know like literally you can order anything you can order for a bottle of coke and they will bring it to your house. Like, I'm telling you guys, in 15 minutes, they're already in your house. You can order chewing gum, and they will bring it to your house. That's how easy life is over there. So, yeah, I miss being able to order stuff online. You know, I miss Talabat, Karim, all of them. <laughs> I miss them so much. I'm not going to lie. And the last time I went to a grocery store, like, to actually do shopping, I can't remember, because I never used to go to the grocery store to do shopping, I'm always shopping online, like, it's so easy, it's so fast, it's even cheaper, to be honest, because they always have, like, this discount going on, so I really loved it, but I really miss that, finally, something that I miss is eating Nigerian food, guys, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm a swallow girl, like, I really, really miss eating a bar and a busy soup, it's not even one month yet, and I'm already talking like this. <laughs> I miss eating 
in a bar, correct? A bar, what a bar, and then see super. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that very soon. That is actually in my plan, so I will try and you know put some things together and make sure that I'm able to cook soon. All right, so that's all my ranting for this video. I just wanted to like give you guys, you know, have a little chat with you guys and let you guys know what is going on and how it is going on. You know, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Wait for the farm vlog, okay? Don't run. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, this is the best time to subscribe to my channel and you know, like my videos, share my videos. God will prosper and bless you and your family. Amen. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I would see you in my next video soon, okay? Bye.